All right, before we start on the next lesson, I'm gonna go over some questions that you guys had problems with. So this is lesson 76, set 20, or uh, number 20. So this says solve using substitution. So to use substitution, we're gonna take a value in here that we know, and we're gonna substitute it in to the second equation. So we can't solve for two variables at one time. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this value right here, says nn equals nq plus 15, and we're gonna substitute into this other equation anytime we come to nn. So that says five times nn. So five times the value of nn is nq plus 15. Then we're gonna write the rest of the equation. nq equals 525. Now we only have one variable here, nq. It's in there twice, but it's just, it's the same variable. We don't have NN in there anymore. All right, so now we're just gonna solve for NQ, so we're gonna rainbow that, so five NQ. And then we're gonna go here, five times 15 is 75. And then plus 25. NQ equals 525. All right, so now we have to add like terms. So we get 30 and Q plus 75 equals 525. Now we're gonna subtract 75 from both sides. And we get 30 and Q equals 450, now we divide by 30. So 450 divided by 30. Uh, that would be five times 30 is 150. So NQ is equal to, these cancel and we get NQ equals 15. All right, so now we're not done yet. We have to solve for NN. So if up here it says NN equals NQ plus 15. Well, we know that NQ is 15 right there. So we're gonna replace that with 15 and we get NN equals 15 plus 15. So that means it equals 30. So the answer is NQ equals 15 and NN equals 30. Okay, the next problem we're gonna look at is from set 78 and it's problem number 26. Now this looks super duper complicated. We've got the third root of X divided by four to the negative two uh, times X to the negative one times X times the square root of y divided by the fourth root of y, and it tells us that x equals 8 and y equals 16. I'm going to take these one step at a time, so I'm going to do one parenthesis at a time, and I'm going to substitute in <clears throat> my values. So this one, the only variable we have is x, and that's 8. So the third root of 8 divided by 4. All right, so what's the third root of 8? That means something times itself three times that equals eight, and that's two, because two times two times two, two times two is four, four times two is eight. All right, so we know that the third root of eight is two, and then we can reduce this fraction down to one half. Two, uh, two fourths is the same thing as one half, and that's to the negative two. <coughs> so to get rid of that, we're gonna to have to move this to the bottom of a fraction with one over top. Remember to get rid of a negative on an exponent, we have to move it to the bottom of a fraction. So we're gonna put one at the top and then we're gonna put one half squared down at the bottom and that gets rid of that negative. What is one half squared? That'd be one half times one half. So one times one is one and two times two is four. So it'll be one fourth. One half squared is one fourth. All right, so we can get rid of that and write one fourth. Now I have one over one fourth. 
to simplify that, we're going to multiply the top and the bottom by 4 over 1. So if we multiply here and we cancel and we get 4 over 1, which is just 4. So this whole first part simplifies, simplifies to 4. All right, now this second part, we use a different color for that. This second part, to get rid of this negative on x, we are just going to have to move it to the bottom of the fraction. So that x to the 1, or just x, will be at the bottom of the fraction, and that x will be at the top of the fraction. And x equals 8, so it will be 8 over 8. And 8 over 8, 8 divided by 8 is just 1. So that whole part right there simplifies to 1. So, so far we've got 4 and we've got 1. All right, now we're going to do this last part. And it is the square root of y. And y is 16. So the square root of 16 over the fourth root of 16. Well, the square root of 16, something times itself that makes 16, is 4. Because 4 times 4 is 16. So the top's 4. And then the fourth root of 16 is 2. Because 2, 4 times. 2, 3, 4 times. So we've got 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 2 is 16. So the fourth root of 16 is 2. So we have 4 over 2. So 4 divided by 2 is going to be 2. So the whole bottom part, or the whole last one, simplifies to 2. Now we just have to multiply these three together. 4 times 1 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. So the answer to number 26 on set 78 is 8. All right, this is lesson 79, systems of equations with subscriptive variables. All right, so we've used subscriptive variables a little bit, and we're going to be doing systems of equations with subscriptive variables. So in lesson 92, we're going to introduce uniform motion word problems, and to do those, we're going to use a lot of subscriptive variables with R and T, meaning R is the rate and T is the time, um, and we're going to be comparing rates of one thing and times uh, you know, rates of two different things and times of two different things. So that's why we use the subscriptive variable. It'll make sense when we get to it. All right. So, um, solve the following systems of equations for RA. All right. So we're trying to find RA and our system of equations is RA TA. So that means RA times TA plus RPTP. R, P, T, P. Now, each one of these little R, A, that's a variable. R, T, A, that's a variable. That one's a variable. That one, each of those are separate, separate variables. The R and the A are connected together. That T and A are connected together. It would mean like the rate of Ann times the time of Ann plus the rate of Patrick times the time of Patrick. That makes sense. All right, so they're saying that equals 320. All right, um, and then we got RT equals 2. And we've got RR equals 10. And we've got TT equals R. Wait, wait, where was I? Got mixed up. Okay, 320, got that part. Okay, RP equals 50. I was looking at the wrong problem. Uh, TP equals 4. And TA equals 3. Okay, so all we have to do is substitute these values into the equation. So if we look at this, we can see that RP is in this equation right here, and TP is in the equation here, and then TA is in the equation here. So all we're going to do is substitute those values in, and you'll see that we only have 
one variable left, which is RA. So I'm going to substitute those in. So RP is, let's see, first we're going to go RA, there's that first one, times TA, if TA is 3, I'm going to substitute that in, plus RP, which is 50, times TP, which is 4, equals 320. Now I just have to solve for RA. So this will be 3 times RA would be 3 RA, plus 4 times 50 would be 200, equals 320. Now we're going to subtract 200 on both sides. Those cancel, and we get 3 R a equals, let's see, that'll be 120. Now we have to divide by 3. And we're going to get R A equals, what's 120 divided by 3? 3 times 4 is 12, so it'll be 40. 40. So R A equals 40. So all we're doing is substituting in those values. All right. Let's try another one. I like that blue pen. Um, next one says RT times TT. So RT times TT plus 120 equal RR times TR. RR times TR. And then the other values they give us is RT equals 2, RR equals 10, and TT equals TR. Okay, so we're going to have to substitute in the values. So let's look at them. First one, RT is right here. And then we've got RR, and it's right there. And then we've got TT, and it's right there. So we're just going to be substituting in those values so that we only have one variable left. All right, so here we go. We're going to substitute in the values. So the first one is RT, and RT equals 2. And then we have TT, and TT equals TR. So we're going to put TR right there. Then we have plus 120 equals RR, which is 10, times TR. Now, you see how we only have TR as our variable. Now we just have to solve. So first, I'm going to put both of my variables on the same side. So I'm going to minus TR over here and minus 2TR over here. Those cancel, and I have 120 equals 8TR. And now I just divide by 8. So we got 120 divided by 8 times 1. 8 and 4 is 12, and then 8 times 5 is 40, so it would be 15. All right, so 15 equals TR. Those canceled. So TR is 15. And it said on that one for us to solve for TR and TT. So TR equals 15. Now we also have to solve for TT. All right, so... How do, how do we do that? We go into one, let's say, TT equals TR. So that's easy. That one's 15 as well. All right, let's try another one, another example here. Uh, let's go with, all right, so this one says, solve the following system equations for TL and TS. So we're looking for TL and T, S. Okay, and the equations that they give us is T, R, L, T, L, R, L, T, L equals 
RSTS. RSTS means RS times TS. Then it also gives us RL equals 40. And RS equals 80. And TS equals TL minus 5. TS equals TL minus 5. Okay, so let's look at our values here. Um, RL right there is there. And then we've got RS is here. And then we've got TS is here. So we're just going to substitute in those values. All right, so first RL, which is 40, so we're going to write 40, and we're going to multiply that times TL, so 40TL, equals RS is 80 times TS, and TS is TL minus 5. Now, do you see how our only variable is TL? It's in two different places, but it's still just one variable. All right, so now we need to distribute here, so 40... TL equals 80 TL, and then we got to do 80 times 5, 5 times 0 is 0, 8 times 5 is 40, so 400 minus 400. Okay, so I just distributed. Now I'm going to get these on the same side of the equation here, so I'm going to have to do minus 80 TL and minus 80 TL. Those cancel and we get negative 40 TL equals negative 400. Now we just divide by negative 40. These negatives are going to cancel each other out and then we're just going to have 10. So TL equals 10. 40 divided by 400 divided by 40 is 10. All right, so if TL equals 10, now we have to find TS. And to find that, we're just going to use this little equation right here. So TS equals TL, which is 10, minus 5. So TS would equal 5. Hope that makes sense to everybody. All right, go ahead and do the, pause the video, do the practice problems, and I will come back and show you how to do them. All right, so these are the practice problems for problem set 79. So we're gonna start with A, and it says given. Given just means that this is what we know. Here are, here are our equations. All right, so given, R A times T A plus R P times T P equals 460. And then we have R P equals 50. And T P equals 4. And T A equals 2. And we're supposed to find RA. All right, so all we're going to do is substitute in values. So RA, we know that we don't know that one, so we're going to leave that one. That's one we're trying to find. TA is 2, so RA times 2, plus RP, that's 50, times TP is 4, equals 460. So all I did was substitute in the values. When I got to TA, I wrote 2 right there. When I got to TP, I wrote 4. When I got to RP, I wrote 50. All right, now we're just going to multiply. So RA times 2 will be 2RA plus 50 times 4 is 200. Oops, 460 equals 460. Now we're going to do minus 200 on both sides. And we're going to get 2RA equals uh, 260, and then we're going to divide by 2, 
and we're going to get RA equals, let's see, 260 divided by 2 would be 130. So RA equals 130. Let me double check with my answer P and make sure that's right. Yes, that is correct. 130. All right, let's do B. And this is B on our practice problems. And it says, given R times T times T times T, RT times TT plus 200 equals R R T R and then we have R T equals 10 R R equals 15 T R equals T T plus 10 and we're supposed to find T R and T T. Okay, so those are the ones we have to find. So all we're going to do is substitute our values. So R T, that's the first one, and we know it equals 10. T T, we don't know what it equals, so we're going to leave it. Plus 200 equals. R, R, that's right here, it's 15, times T, R. T, R is right here, so we're going to substitute that whole value. T, T, plus 10. All right, so now we're just going to solve. Um, 10, T, T, plus 200 equals, now we have to distribute right here, 15, T, T, plus 15 times 10, 150. Okay, now we've got to get our variables together on the same side. So I'm going to do minus 10 and minus 10 T, T. And we get 200 equals 5 T, T plus 150. Now i got to subtract 150. And we get 50 equals, oops, 50 equals 5TT, t, and then we just divide by 5, and TT t is going to be equal to 10. So TT t equals 10. We're not done yet. We still have to find TR. All right, so we found TT and it equals 10. Now we have to find TR. Right here, it tells us that TR is TT plus 10. So if TR equals TT, which we know is 10, plus 10, we know that TR equals 20. There's a 20. All right, I hope you got those right. If you have any problems, just give me, uh, shoot me a message and I can make another video for you. We're going to go ahead and do lesson 80 as well. Okay, this is lesson 80 and lesson 80 is about operations with scientific notation. All right, so when it gives us a problem, it asks us to write the numbers um, in scientific notation and then multiply them together. All right, so the first one says... 0 0.003 times 10 to the negative fourth and 2 times 10 <coughs> to the 20th. And we're supposed to write those in scientific notation and then multiply. So first we've got to put the numbers into scientific notation. So this one, we have to move this decimal point 1, 2, 3 and Three and four is seven. We moved it in the in the direction it's going into a decimal. We're making it from a 
from a tiny number into a big number. So that means we're going to have negative. So that'll be negative 3 and 4 is 7. So point, no, no, no. It'd be 3 times 10 to the negative 7. That's all that is. All right, and then we're going to be multiplying that times 2 times 10 to the 20th. Now, in the book, it has you rearrange it, so we know that we can multiply in lots of different ways. So, basically, we're doing that. That x just means multiply. And we can put the 2 and the 3 together times the 3 times 10 to the negative 7 times 10 to the 20th. All right, so then we just multiply here. 2 times 3 is 6. And then when we multiply here, remember when we multiply exponents, you just add them together. So negative 7 and positive 20 would be uh, 13. So 6 times 10 to the 13th. Super easy. And you don't even have to rearrange those um, factors in there. I'll show you how to do it in a way that's not confusing. All right, first I'm going to do um, point... One, two, three, four, four uh, times 10 to the negative fifth. Whoops, wrote that wrong. Times 10 to the negative fifth. And then we're multiplying that by 7,000. Okay, so first we got to fix this one. We're going to have to move it. We're starting at a decimal, so we're moving negative. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 4 times 10, and we have to move it negative 5. Negative 5, negative 5 is going to be negative 10. And we're going to multiply that times 7 times 10 to the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10 to the 5th. All right, so all we have to do is multiply our 4 times our 7, and we get 28. And then we add our exponents, negative 5, I mean, negative 10 and positive 5 will be times 10 to the negative 5. Now, that is not the answer. Because 28 is not proper scientific notation, we, only ha we can only have one number before our decimal. So, we have to move our decimal point to there. So, it's going to be 2.8 times 10. And then this movement right here was a positive 1 movement. We multiply times 10. All right, so that would be to the negative fourth. 2.8 times 10 to the negative fourth. All right, I'm going to do a couple examples involving division. Uh, first one is 0.0016 divided by 400,000. First, we're going to turn this into proper scientific notation, so we're going to have to put our decimal there. That's one, two, three spaces. So 1.6 times 10 to the negative third. We're going to divide that by 4 times 10 to the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to the fifth. Now, remember, when we um, divide exponents, we subtract. So first, we're going to do here 16 divided by 4 or 1.6 divided by 4. Bring that decimal up. 4 times 4 is 16, so it's going to be 0.4. So that first part is 0.4, so that's 1.6 divided by 4. Now we're going to subtract. So to bring this up, we'll do minus 5. Negative 3, negative 5 would be negative 8. Now, that is not the correct answer because that's not proper scientific notation. We need one number in front before that decimal. So, we're going to have to move the decimal to there. So, we need 4 times 10, and we move that. That is a positive 1. No, that's a negative 1. So, that's going to be times 10 to the negative 9th. All right, let's try another one. Um, this one is 0 0.06 times 10 to the fifth times 300,000. 
divided by 1,000 times 0 0.00009. Okay, so first we're going to put these, set these up in proper scientific notation. This first one, we've got to move the decimal to there to make 6 times 10 to the, let's see, we moved it 1, 2, so that'll be negative 2. 5 minus 2 is 3. Okay, it's our first parentheses, all that. Now we have 300,000. We've got to move this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that would be 3 times 10 to the 5th. All right, that's our top. Now our bottom. Uh, one, two, three. So one times ten to the third. And then this one, we're going to move it one, two, three, four, five. So we've got to be on the other side of that nine. So nine times ten to the negative five. All right. Now we're going to multiply the top first, then the bottom, then we'll divide. Six times three is eighteen. Now we have 3 and 5 will be 8. So we get 18 times 10 to the 8th. And then 1 times 9 is 9 times 10. And then 3 and negative 5 would be negative 2. Okay. Now to get rid of this, we're going to say 18 divided by 9. That would make 2. Now, when we divide here, remember we have to subtract. So we're saying 8 minus negative 2. 8 minus negative 2 would be same thing as 8 plus 2. So 10. So 2 times 10 to the 10th. There's that one. All right, we'll try another one. All right, let's try 20 times 10 to the negative 45 times 400 times 10 to the 20th. And all that's going to be divided by 100,000. Zero point zero 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 eight times ten. We got three zeros in front of that. To the negative fifteen. All right. First thing we do is set all this up in proper scientific notation. This one we have to move one that way. That is a plus one. All right. So we're gonna have two times ten and forty negative forty five plus one will be negative forty four. Okay. So that's that first one right here. All right, this one we're going to move one, two, so that is a plus two. So we're going to have ten, whoops, we're going to have four times ten to the twenty-two. Okay, now we're going to do, that was that one. Now we're going to do the bottom. This one we're going to move one, two, three, four, five, so that's one times ten to the fifth. Remember, if you're starting with a whole number, it's positive. If you're starting with a decimal, it's negative. All right, this one, we're going to move it 1, 2, 3, 4. So that will be negative 4. So we started with the decimal. All right, so that will be 8 times 10 to the negative 19. Negative 15 plus negative 4, negative 19. Okay, so now we're going to do our multiplication first, and then divide. So that means we're going to multiply here. 2 times 4 is 8. Then we're going to add our exponents. Negative 44, positive 22. Uh, that would be times 10 to the, let's see, 44 minus 22 would be negative 22. All right, so there's our top. Now we're going to do 1 times 8, which would be 8 times 10 to the, now I have to add these exponents, 5 and negative 19. Uh, that will be negative 14. Okay, negative 14. 
All right, 8 divided by 8. Now we divide. 8 divided by 8 is 1. So we're going to have 1 times 10 to the something. So we've got negative 22 and negative 14, but when we move that up, it changes it to a positive. Or it's the same thing as saying 20, negative 22 minus negative 14. So negative 22 minus negative 14. So these are going to be plus. So that we get a positive 14 and a negative 22. Um, and that's going to be, let's see, that'll be 6, 7, 8. And that'll be negative 8. So we should have 1 times 10 to the negative 8. All right, pause the video and do the practice problems, and I'll come back and work them for you. All right, this is practice for... Problem set 80. All right, so we're going to start off with A and A says simplify and we've got a parentheses and we've got 0 0.07 times 10 to the squared there times 800,000. And on the bottom here, we have, let me use a different color. We have 10,000 times 0 .00, let's see how many zeros we got. One, two, three, four, five, six zeros. And a four. Okay, so what we're going to do first is we're going to Work the top of the problem and then the bottom of the problem. We got to convert all these to proper scientific notation. So we're going to move that twice and we're going to get 7 times 10 and we moved it twice. That will be minus 2. That's going to be 10 to the 0 because we got positive 2 and negative 2, which will be 1. So it would really just be 7. All right, we're going to leave it at 10 to the 0 for now. All right, and then we're going to multiply that times uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 8 times 10 to the 5th. Okay, so now we're going to work the bottom part. This one we're going to move 1, 2, 3, 4. So 1 times 10 to the 4th. Remember, started with a whole number, so it's a positive exponent. This one, we're starting with a decimal, so we're going to have a negative exponent. We've got to move 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 4 times 10 to the negative 7. All right. This whole thing just needs to be a 7. Because if we multiply that times 0, we're going to end up on another 0, and that's not going to work anything like 10 to the 0 is equal to 1. Anything times that equals 1. Alright, so we're going to say 7 times 8 is 56 times 10 to the 5th. Because this would just be times 1. 1 times 10 to the 5th would be 10 to the 5th. All right, at the bottom, we're going to do 4 times 1 is 4. And then we're going to do, add these exponents, 4 and negative 7. 4 and negative 7 would be negative 3. All right, now we need to do 56 divided by 4. Or one time, and we get 16, 14. So that would be 14. 56 divided by 4 is 14 times 10. Now we got to subtract that. So 5 minus negative 3 would be to the 8th. 14 times 10 to the 8th. Let me see if I got that right. Oh, wait, it's not done yet. I forgot one step. Okay, so let's look at look over that. 
last step. So you might stop there and think you got it right, but that was supposed to say to the eighth. All right, so 14 times 10 to the eighth is not proper scientific notation. We need our decimal to move to there. So we moved it back one. So that's going to be a positive one movement. So we're going to have 1.4 times 10 to the ninth. All right, so that's the answer to A. I'm going to do B really quick. All right, B is 0 0.04 times 10 to the negative ninth. And 50 times 10 to the 16th divided by, I think I like using a different color on the bottom. All right, so we've got one, two, three, four, five zeros. So point one, two, three, four, five zeros, and then a four times 50,000. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is work out this top part. So we've got to make the si proper scientific notation. We've got to move a 1, 2, and that will be a negative 2. So it would be 4 times 10, negative 9, and negative 2 would be negative 11. Okay, that's that first part. Second part, we're going to move that back 1, so that would be a positive 1. We're going to have 5 times 10. 16 plus 1 is 17. All right, there's our top. Now let's figure out the bottom. We're going to move this one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And it started with a negative number. I mean, a, a decimal, so that's going to be a negative number. So 4 times 10 to the negative 6 is that one. And then here we move 1, 2, 3, 4. So that would be 5 times 10 to the fourth. All right, so now we're gonna multiply the top first and then the bottom. So four times five is 20. And then we have to add these exponents. So negative 11 and positive 17 is gonna be six. All right. Now we're going to do the bottom part here. So we're going to add, I mean multiply the numbers. So 5 times 4 is 20. Then we're going to add the exponents. So 20 times 10 to the negative 6, positive 4 will be negative 2. All right, now we have to divide. We're almost done. 20 divided by 20 will be 1 times 10. And then 6 minus negative 2. Or you could do... When you move the exponent up to the top, you change the sign, so plus 2. 6 plus 2 is 8. Or it's the same thing as 6 minus negative 2. Let's go together. 6 plus 2. So it's 1 times 10 to the 8th. Make sure I did that right. Yep. All right. So your homework is going to be less than 80. And just message me if you need help, and I will help you. All right. Good luck.